I mean, I'd rather not get the clap, but... Well, too late. That's how quick I am. Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Northern TCG. Welcome back to another week of the BBC. Oh, Christ. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Bragg. Oh, I hit King of Games in Rust Jewels. The same night that I... Same night as the podcast last week. Uh, hit, hit a good streak. Yeah. And then I haven't really touched it much since. Mainly because my phone met with an unfortunate demise. And this, this new phone I can't be bothered installing it on. It's such a big download. Same with Master Jewel. It's like Konami like, looks at mobile phone space and goes, We hate it. We want to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Because... What Master Jewel's like they do four the same gig, thing yeah? to my, they do the same thing to my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh, we'll get once again. We'll get to that. Mm. Um, Will we though? Yes. Will we? Oh, yes. I'm gonna be whinging about it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but once again, locals went awry because of work reasons. But pretty keen to get on tier, especially po- I was a bit worried about post age of Overlord, but I think it's a plan. I'm not sure if it's a good plan. But it's a plan. Okay. How about yours? How about yours? Uh, my week was alright. You never go second. No, I rarely go second. Uh, so Tuesday uh, didn't go great, purely because my very first matchup was against Vanquish Soul, uh, and it didn't go great for two reasons. One, I haven't versed that deck before, um, so I was only loosely aware of what it did. Didn't Leo play it for like two weeks? No. I mean, oh. if he did, he didn't verse me, so I never had to uh. deal with it at that point. Uh, so yeah, didn't really know what it did. I kind of knew from the brief bits and pieces that I have seen that like the links, the bit that you try and hit with targeting disruption because it's the only one they can't bounce off the board to dodge effects. Yes. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I had. That's no all well and good if you don't have it. <laughs> like it's correct. Like, yeah, yeah, but like, it's not a vanquished soul monster. Yes. Uh, and then the other problem is that the deck is effectively like just pre-geared to run there can be only one in the main deck mm-hmm. which causes my fiend only deck big problem why can't mm. you go fiend into something else like because uh, there aren't any maybe you maybe you should have yeah i should definitely have had a word to konami several years ago when they designed unchained and told them to fix it because they'd release a broken floodgate later on let's play a different card do you have any other link like is there any link ones the you on- can use to link climb into the, the only what link- came first tc boot or unchained because I think it's got to be close. I think Unchained. Surely SP just get, gives them the out now. They can't get yeah, a second monster. You have monster to get the second monster. But if you go into, if you find, so any... I'd have to normal summon yeah. effectively an Ash Blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then, like, sure is a link one, one of the fiends. Sure is a link one. But then the fiends lock me as well. Like, I would be playing so much garbage to out a floodgate when mm. it's like one of those things where it's like. Okay, so they're main decking it, and it's one matchup of the entire locals. Like, do I? That's why you would commit extra deck space. Find a link one. But it's just I can't. Do you have any level one monsters? Well, you can't. Well, wait. So do the unchained lock for the whole turn, or the after? ones that special summon the red one yeah. locks you into fiends as long as it's on the board. If you've used its effect to special summon, yeah, the yeah. little red one yeah. locks you as soon as you use its special summon effect. Yeah, so you're in fiends for the rest. Yeah, of the that's turn. what I thought. Yeah, for the rest of the turn. So you can't you find a way to get? Just play Fenrir. I mean, I could. In the case um, of what came first, the chicken or the floodgate? Uh, the floodgate came first. A year earlier. Really, Tikaboo was out that long. came out in Extreme Force 2018, and it's. Still and we all looked at it and went, trouble. "This isn't rivalry. Get out." I don't know. I bought a lot of them. Oh yeah. I profited quite well from that card. I was buying them at a dollar and then waited and sold them for five to ten each. It's not when the band played on. It's not when the band played on. Best floodgate in New Year. God, that that card got so hyped in Sprite and just never saw play. That's because it was okay years ago. But yeah, it's just too weird. What was it good in? Well, good against. Wasn't it good against? Yeah. Was it Draco? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, because then they just get rid of it. Yeah. Surely. Surely. Oh, and then Mistress of the uh, not Mistress Mischief of the Gnomes got hyped in Sprite as well. Oh yeah, that was because yeah. it was just a one turn thing. So. That's always a hype card. Mistress of the Gnome. Mischief. I'm. 
Mischief for the gnomes. Never will be good. Yes? Yes. No. Uh, yeah, so anyway, lost that match. Um, and then the second round I tied against uh, Branded Chimera Runic. Uh, he was never actually trying to play. <laughs> That's all I've been able to work out from that deck. It just puts some monsters on the board and does some things and eventually you get bored and tired. Yeah. Okay. No, no, yeah, yeah. You sit there going, uh, I'll negate that target, I'll negate that target. Oh, can I attack for two damage this turn? No. I'm just going to wait. No, I will pass this turn as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that ended up in a draw. Uh, and then I can't remember what my last matchup was on back. Tuesday was. Uh, but then, yeah, pre-release today. Um, so I bought two boxes before we started, and pulls from that were not bad. I got uh, a Devil Star. Um, oh, what were the synchros I got? I think I got the Labyrinth um, thingy. You got a Zeus. I got the Anti-Zeus. Um, I got uh, one of the Horus spells. Like, my my secret pulls were not bad. Um, oh, no, I got one of the TG secrets, so, like, not amazing. That's um, the new Adam Emancipator one. Yeah, Adam Emancipator Friendship, that fucking garbage card. It could have been so good too, but it's like, oh yeah, Lock uh, it we're going to yeah heavily restrict you for no reason. Um, and then yeah, in my pre-release packs, I got fucking nothing. I didn't get any competent strategy together whatsoever. The closest I got was I had the level 7 um, new uh, Astrograph Pendulum dude. Yep. And I pulled the uh, Diablo Star quick play spell that's like if you control a level 7 uh, spellcaster, you can reduce everything else's attack by its attack, and if they go to zero, they get destroyed. <laughs> Which I like. It's, it's so It's cute. a solid spell. Yeah. I plan to run it in some of the um, cheesy decks that I'm going to be playing. Um but yeah, like, the Pendulum was searchable with um, the Continuous spell I had in the deck, but then I had to just hope that I had the quick play at the right time, and I rarely did. Hmm. It was it was rough. Um, so yeah. Apparently that, there was a way to search it. Well, I didn't pull the way to search it, because... I don't um, think you would from five packs. Six well, packs. Yeah, six packs. Huge. So, um, the other thing too is with the pre-release is like the uh, secret allotment was like very specific. Like in the, I think six secrets, no, four secrets there were in rotation, two people pulled them. Yeah. So Tom pulled both secrets from his six and then someone else pulled two secrets from theirs. So then the rest of us were just hoping to get like some what decent ultras and shit. Uh, the Visus Samsara yeah, yeah. and some other thing. He lost it. He can't even remember what it was. <laughs> I think it was the lab one. Oh, oh okay. That's bad. You don't want to lose that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. Like, and, oh, and I've pretty much, like, between all the ultras and, like, the stuff that people didn't need that I'm now getting off them, I'll probably end up with most of the Diablo Star stuff that I need. Yep. So, yeah. What do you was... plan on summoning with that Devil Star stuff? Devil Star. That's it? Well, it's just going to be an engine to do other things. You'll see it later. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Fine. It's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. How's your week? Um, so, again, we had... Well, Locals on Tuesday was... It was fine. Um, we're next one. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't remember anything too dramatic happening. My loss was to Leo and I just fucking opened horrendous both games and was just like yeah it happens it do be happen um, when I opened up my game one hand was like I lose to any hand trap immediately got a hand trap and I was like okay game two I was like I lose to no hand traps because I literally don't have a card I can put on the field right now uh pass um uh, yeah that, that wasn't pretty but uh that was that uh then we had today uh and I was uh I brought home the playmat. Oh, for sick. The second yeah. straight For the second straight event, I have brought home the playmat. Not that it's um, a particularly important distinction, but I should say that he didn't win the pre-release. This was the lucky door prize. I didn't win the pre-release last time either, but you didn't preface that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I came home with the playmat. If you go back and watch that podcast from the last pre-release, I intentionally say I came home with the playmat the entire time, and you were like, oh, so you won it. And I was like, I came home with the playmat. <laughs> so... 
yeah, came home with the playmat. Uh, my wonder. pulls from the entry packs oh, were garbage. Um, but I'm a what duelist now? <laughs> we also what? have oh, you got the poster with another poster. I mean, um, just I, should, I was going to say, to it should be. I, was gonna say, I literally out. threw out <laughs> the other, the other one. one this morning. When I threw it out this morning, I was like, I was getting one from the pre-release today, and here we are. So, so yeah, this is the one that we saw leak, right? That that. So let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. So that straight up looks like an ultra. Yeah. Which it is. And that's going to be the collector rare of Little Knight, yeah. No, that they're all. Everything but the one in the middle is a twenty fifth. Gotcha. Uh, Quartzy Razies. Yeah, it's Quartzy Razies. That's so like, whatever. It I makes guess, sense though because I that like way it. they can leak the card without telling you what rarity is prior to release. Yeah. Age of Overlord. Yeah, we're going to keep it secret for no reason. Coming to an OTS near you October 18th. This Actually, a good set. Make sure to go out and buy it from your locals. Support your locals. Does not leaking the rarities... So if they keep the rarities all secret until release day, does that yep. get them extra money? Uh, I'd assume any... so, yeah. Yeah, there has to be a business case for it, but or I can't really get my head around it. It probably supports locals' sell-through rate on... Um product yeah because if they figure it yeah that looks like it's overexposed as fuck yeah up here definitely i mean it's kind of the point right it's meant to be the light version of zark so the light's meant to be blinding yeah, but and like... radiating behind it it's a really nice mat the yeah. symmetry of it's really nice the colors are really nice yeah. i really like it there's like a, a like a wash to it that i don't like there's like a fade I've been really picky with my mats lately on these ones. I need to get the tubes. Ubel's gonna be sick. Hmm? The Ubel one. The Ubel one. From uh, Phantom Nightmare. Some some would say Ubel, but that's okay. Ubel. Ubel? Ubel. 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 Simple. Why is no one saying Wemble? <laughs> Why is no one saying Wibble? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I came home with the playmat. Uh, I now really want to play Watts because the new Watt cards are really good. <laughs> like, they seem so fun. What? Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, yeah, but so we have to dig up some old shit. So do you have everything from the, from the day then? No. Oh, bugger. Um, Wait, for Watts? Yeah. Yeah. Surely. I thought everyone I, would just be throwing them at you. There's only three. Like, I, I will have them. Okay, sweet. Yeah, um, I thought everyone was just going to load them off to you. And I've got what giraffes. I might have some what cobras somewhere. Oh, I've got, well, I've giraffe definitely and cobras got, got reprints recently, right? What cobra? One of them did. What, what did giraffe get. got a preprint? I have fuckwoods what giraffe. I know that. Yeah, I definitely have cobras. Okay. Um, and then I need some of the synchros and the rest of the pack. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah. figure it out. But I really want to play what's. Because, what? yeah, they were, they were fun today. Um, I ended up going X1 at the sneak peek. Uh, that like insect monster like saved everyone's ass at every possible opportunity. Yeah, because like, I know this because I didn't pull it. <laughs> yeah, the insect plus Ken was like, oh, yeah. you Ken though. So you'd like Ken your opponent, and then that'd give them a level four or lower if they were staying or trying to play around the insect, and then you'd special the insect switch and then go bang. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. I uh, that. That's a, it's a cute little packet, like, and it's good that, like... Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not good if you don't get it. Leo, Leo won the event because he had that and the one that's, like, if your opponent controls two monsters, special summon this card. I had, like, 2,500 attack. <laughs> yeah. So it was, like... We had both of those, so it was, like, cool. You get through one push, and then there's another one. He's, like, mm, awesome. My little what attack directly engine was, like, cute, but not cute enough. Um, but, yeah, that was, that was the sneak peek adventure. Lovely. So, we move on to some news, and as per usual, we start with Master Duel. Oh, I've got standard shipping from Nikija. I feel like that's fine. Yeah, that's standard yeah. shipping with tracking? Because that's normally like the included... Yeah, I mean, it's above 100 bucks, so it better be. Into code and all five checkout? Yes, definitely. Okay. So, we start with Master Duel. Uh, so, as of October 10th, they did the update, which obviously gave us the new packs. Uh, so, the... Packs that they've added, obviously they had the Flames of Fury, which had all the new cash stuff and all the new Rescue Ace stuff. And Not all of it. Regrettably, yeah. it didn't have the bits that make Rescue Ace playable in today's format. 
Uh, so, yeah. They didn't not... give it the parts that let it play very easily through Cash Tier either, so it's a bit of a pain. Not um, ideal. It would have been good to get that at full power with, like, full power Pearly and full power Cash. Because those are both two decks that that can relatively easily cut through. I mean, yeah. But what can you do? Uh, another pack that they've added as well is the opening act of an apocalypse, uh, which is basically a uh, resend of uh, like I've forgotten the fucking archetype name. Deeple Star. No. Watts. Branded. Ah, they're gross. They don't see gross on them. Ben was never going to guess. No. That. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, mainly the Despia stuff and Dark Lords that are in this pack. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already got those, even though they released, it feels like there's so many packs for that, or there has been so many packs for that. Yeah. I don't know how you wouldn't have it, but if you don't, it's there. Um, they have released a new field as well. The Archfiend Palabrinth looks quite nice, I have to say. I completely forgot about this card's existence. <laughs> and I'm like, when, I, when, when you like sent me, I'm like... That looks so sick. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I love this card. Yeah, it's it's a really cool looking field. It's really left field as well because like usually it has something to no, do no, with it's, something. It's top or bottom shut up! It's shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It's really random a choice because it has nothing to do with anything that's been released currently. Usually, yeah. there's like some tie into something that's going on. Uh, whereas Arch. this one just doesn't seem to have any direct connection to Arch any other types. Format. I mean, has there ever been an Arch I Fiend format? As in, like, like, did we do like... Angels and Demons? So just yeah, do, they did do that, but that was ages Fiends. ago. Just all Arch Fiend cards. You can only play Arch Fiends. You can only summon someone's skull. Yeah. Should be a fact monster. Sidebar, they did summon skull dirty when they did those support cards for it, like the Synchro and the Xyz. Oh, yeah. yes. They're so bad. Horrendous. And the artworks for them are so cool, and they're just garbage cards. <laughs> yeah, it's... A sad state of affairs of Summon Skull. But he had his time in the sun, he can get fucked. <laughs> um, as well as that, we've had... Have... one doesn't have the Archfiend clause. So we know no Archfiends in... No Archfiend in Rushdall. But it was a long time that Summon Skull was just Summon Skull before he became always an Archfiend as well. Well, because well, it was meant to be. Because um, of the translation. Semantics. I wonder semantics. why they chose Summon Skull. Because it was a skull that Yugi summoned. Yeah, I guess. It's like, well, you just summon that skull. We're going to call it Summon Skull because Archfiend doesn't make any sense. So what are they going to call it? Summon Skull's art is just so nice. Mm. It is. It really hits peak Yu-Gi-Oh. I think the Synchro is the one I'm thinking of that has, like, a really symmetrical design. I like symmetry. Um, but yeah, anyway, off of that. Yeah, so um, yeah you've been, you're going on about the mat, going on about this that. This is symmetry. red and that's green. No. Oh, that makes me angry. But it makes sense. It shouldn't be blue. Yes. Whatever. Uh, they should indeed be pen scales. It shouldn't it match. This isn't symmetrical at all. What are you talking about? It is symmet symmetrical. Not it's just not. not identical on both sides in terms of colour. But that? the actual shape is still symmetrical. Okay. Anyway, uh, other assets. We've got some Kashira Rise Heart sleeves. Um, oh, yeah. They had the light and dark frames not too long ago. They now have fire to match in for the year of fire. They've got uh, Rescue Ace Turbulence wallpaper. Wallpaper? Oh, that's kind of yeah, cool. for the entry thing. Yeah. Like, you see it for all of 10 seconds before you start doing your yeah. things. No one cares about them. Um, they've oh, got a fire like, deck box, though. I like the wallpaper. That is pretty fire. <laughs> uh, and then um, they've <laughs> added in some cards to some other packs. Um, some Psychic Level 2 that I don't give a shit about. Uh, land flipping that card that got hyped up during the time that um, like just before Mystic Mind was dead in that like you could send your opponent's Mystic Mind to the graveyard and put something up on your board and something something blah 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 it's a garbage card uh, and land the flipping. level 5 um, Manju card yes hmm. that's been added as well so um, as well as that we got some details on the upcoming Duelist Cup upcoming Duelist Cup Archery yeah Cup. Archery and Cup <laughs> shut up yeah, why don't we... Let's, guys, just make a pact. We're all going to play Archfiends. For no matter what this cup will be. We're just going to play Archfiends. It's the Archfiend Cup. Here we go. It's going to be fucking fair or something. So anyway, the Duelist Cup will be the start of the 2024 season to qualify for the World Championship Finals. There are three methods to qualify. 
that these details are not finalized, so a number of things could change in the future. Um, the first method is uh, being the top player of the WCQ in your area. I'm assuming that's region. Grind. Uh, winners will be the leaders of the teams representing their area. Uh, second method is to be one of the top ranking players of the second stage of the Duelist Cups that will be held throughout the season, three times in total, including this October 2023. And then the third is being one of the highest ranking players in terms of season points. Season points are a new system that will be awarded to top ranking players in both the second stage of the Duelist Cup and the WCQs. Uh, these points are awarded to individuals, but the rankings will be based on the total points of the three team members. So huh. they've just got a bit more of a structure as to how you get into uh, Master Duel Worlds now. There's a few different methods. So I yeah. a team. It's Based probably on, just the top three. Yeah. So the top three of the region get put into a team and then they get... That's so what the, it's sounding like. In the origin, like. Even in that text you just read there, it seems as though the old model is still there, where if you win or you're leading after a certain fucking window, you get to pick the other two players. Yeah. And then there's another way you can qualify where it'll just be top three. Yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about it. Like, if you were, like, in the one where you didn't get the pick and you just got paired with, like, two other bozos. Like Who's other gonna... bozos had been number two and three in the world? I was going to say, like, they're not, like, bozos in terms of, like, their Skill playability. Level? They're clearly good. Imagine then they're... Konami fucking rooms you with them at Worlds. I mean, that's effectively what they did when... Oh, well, it wasn't Konami. It was um, Good Games. When we had uh, the one at PAX, is it was, like, twin share accommodation. So I had to share it with some other dude. And I ended up just staying with Tom because I'm like, I don't want to room with some weirdo. <laughs> That guy had a good ride, though. Yeah, that guy got the... He won. I mean, yeah, he had a great time. Um, although I did beat him um, leading into the finals. So, everything's fine. Um, moving on, we have some uh, new cards been announced for the OCG. Uh, so, we start with uh, Rumpel Tufel. Uh, it's a new trap card. Uh, declare a monster name. Neither player can special summon monsters with that original name for the rest of the turn, except from the graveyard. And then you can banish it from the graveyard, declare a monster card's name, another player can activate the effects of monsters on the field with the original name for the rest of the turn. And it's called Rumpeltoothle. Uh, Rumpeltoothle, yeah. I appreciate that name, Jerome. <clears throat> Wait, this is an OCG translation. Did you credit there? You can't credit him yet. So, Toothle, no. Toothle Jerome. is German for devil or Satan. Rumpel seems to mm -hmm. be Rumpel from German. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the kanji, it seems to be laughing black goat. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a great translation. Mm -hmm. What are the Thanks, odds? Drew. But yeah, that's an interesting card with some interesting applications, I feel. Yeah, it's a trap card, so it's fine. Uh, we also was one, it was a trap card, because I just was, made that up. It was only one yeah. effect per turn, yeah. It's not like tidying. Uh, oh, hang on, let me double check. Um, or is it like tidying? Then they use the first or second effects of this card once per turn. Cool. So you can use both in the same turn. No, no. You or can only use or... either the first or second effects of this card's name once per turn. So you have to choose one. If you activate it, you can't then banish it from grave. Just like tidy. Am I just not processing the English language right now? Yes. Alright, yeah. move on. You it's can only all... use either all the first one. or the yeah, well, second. I, I said move on! <laughs> I've acknowledged. We move. Uh, yes, we move on to the. Uh, what's it called again? Terminal oh. World. <laughs> Happens to all of us. The Terminal World. Uh, we have the next old archetype getting support, which is Gen X. Gen X. Uh, when they, like, I saw the headline come up and I was like, oh, this is going to be fucking trash. That's no, fucking it's brilliant. It's actually kind of cooked. Um, so the most cooked one is the Link 1. Just needs Naturally. a level 4 or lower Gen X. Um, if this card is Link Summoned, add a Gen X monster from your graveyard to your hand. Once per chain, if a Gen X monster or monsters is added to your hand except by drawing it, you can immediately after this effect resolves normal summon a Gen X monster. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except by the Synchro Summon using... Gen X tuners as material. Normal summon Gen X Undyne. Add. Effect again. Normal summon controller. Finally, you can normal summon controller. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. You add back Undyne mm. with the link and then do it again. <laughs> because 
from the replays that I've watched, no Gen X is once per turn because they're all normal summon triggers. Add back? Normal summon. Yeah. It's legitimately normal synchro summon. meets flunder. Like, you normal summon 20 times, and then you also summon Baron and Dispader yeah. and all this bonkers shit. It's, it's all so loses to cooked. one hand trap. Well, that's the thing. They insulate it like a lot of other decks. Like, they'll play the Eagle Boosters, they'll play the yeah. other things. Like, you pretty much have to completely rid the field of the normal summon to be able to stop them. Ah, oh, so it hard loses to Dragon Maid of all things. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. It hard loses to Dragon Maid because he's bounced sure. the normal summon. Luckily, no one's playing Dragon Maid at the moment, so... The big Gen X Takes is also off. fun to summon off turn as well. Like, the new Synchro that they got is goes okay. Yeah, the new Synchro, so that oh. one's a uh, sort of access code negate. Mm. Uh, banishes different attribute Gen Xs from Grave to negate stuff. Um, and you can only do it for each different attribute. So you've yeah. got up to six negates per turn. Mm. Uh, and then on your turn, you can target up to six Gen Xs with different attributes that are banished during the grave and then shuffle them in and destroy that um, up to that many cards in the spell and trap zone. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, and then they get a couple new main deck monsters, which I care not to read. Um, got next... It's an Undyne retrain as well. Yeah, there is an Undyne. Yeah, it calls itself the real Undyne. As like... The, the normal ones are phony. <laughs> but it's like, it's way worse than Undyne as well, yeah? It's not great. Yeah. Cards are good. Everyone buy out Atlanteans. <laughs> Leave the Mermails. Did Marksman get an ulti or am I just crazy? Yes, I Marksman had an ulti, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, it was the other one that didn't. Yeah, that was only a super. Yeah. So, uh, last week, we mentioned that uh, <laughs> goblins had been quite forgotten. Their goblin attack orders was sent out as a scapegoat for the military attack of goblins. Yeah, yeah. What did I call it? Oh, orders, which is a different one. Is goblin attack orders a card? Yeah. yeah. Goblin attack orders is the like the one that's in the full armor that's like yelling at the others to go. Sure. He's the um, one saved to their death. It's like, yeah. um, it's like that Gallipoli movie. <laughs> Yeah, he's the he's the yeah. man with the flag. But anyway, uh, the they they have been joined on the battlefield. Uh, we got the announcement really not long after the podcast either of the Goblin Riders. Although these ones seem to be um, in a different uh, branch of the military. Yeah, Looks yeah, annoying. they're again in the tech in the future tech part of the military. Some of those rods are pretty. So, without going into a great level of detail, it's an Xyz based strategy. Um, so, you've got some, well, four level threes, but then they can manipulate to get to their rank six as well as the rank three that they have. Um, I want it. I can't remember exactly what they all do, but I don't remember it being super terrible. I want it. I mean, you'll be able to get it, I imagine, once whatever this set is. I comes need out. it. I need it. Is it Phantom Nightmare? Yes, With Phantom Nightmare. Ubel. Please stop yeah. calling it Bull. that. The Ubel play mat? <laughs> Wimble? Womble? Wimble. Wait, aren't Womble... Isn't Womble a thing? Yeah, like the little... Womble combo. Little, um, British puppets, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like scavenger mice. Yeah. Anyway, hey, Overlord, coming soon. <laughs> I mean... Phantom Nightmare? No. Um, Phantom Darkness? It's going to come first. And now we have two new cards for the Snake Eyes Phantom archetype Minus. coming out in Phantom hey, Nightmare. Yeah, one of these is cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Snake Eyes Populous, he's a cute little guy, uh, level one fire. Because a, snake, of a Snake Eyes, not a Diablo style? Yes. Uh, so if it's added to hand except by drawing a special summon, and if it's normal special summon, add one Snake Eyes spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, target a fire monster in your graveyard, place it face up in the owner's continuous spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. So it's got the one thing, yeah? So you, you can, just add it off thingy. You can do that with Hydrant and then it gives all of your spell and traps a second effect. Because you just have to have Hydrant face up on the field, not in your monster zone. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Doesn't that make you like, more susceptible to blowout cards like Duster and stuff? No. Like he already isn't susceptible to Duster. I know, that's what I'm saying, more susceptible. Well, who cares, he's all in. But anyway, they also get a quick play spell. Um, so place Diablo Star what? monster from your hand deck or face up 
uh, in its owner's spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Wait, place one to, from your hand, deck, or graveyard, face up in the spell and trap. Uh, during the end phase, banish this card from your graveyard, then target the monster, treat it as a continuous sp spell you control, and special summon it. So oh, basically, cool. you place Diablo Star, and then you do that shenanigans in the end phase. Oh. It's doing the same thing, it's just doing it in a different sequence. Yeah. And it also hints at the fact that we'll get another Diablo Star. Wait, is that a quick play? Yes. A quick play. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? So yeah, that'll be some cool support. Um, what was the next thing I was going to chat to? You? The uh, art, yeah, the Artemis one's heaps cool. Yeah, it's actually like really cute, whereas the others look disgusting and yeah, and horrible. Yeah, not about it. Um, we get the OCG's iteration of the Gate Guardian support. Yeah, although it's kind of definitely not cute. No. Uh, so we've got Dark Guardian. Um, apparently this was in GX. Yeah, I'm. do I just glaze over when we... Because it's an early episode as well. I always forget they're in GX and I always forget what they did. Oh, yeah. Lu is that Loomis? And... No, that's no, the no, other guys. Parado the, the, yeah, the Paradox the, Brothers. The, the yeah. racist ones. I always just think the Tag Duel guys are all the fucking same. But yeah. Yeah, they're in early GX. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, I had no really idea. Really early. With all this stuff. And it, just no one was asking for it. It's kind yeah. of weird, because usually like those vague cards that turned up in the anime early on, there's people going, when are we getting this? Like flying elephant. Yeah. Where's my elephant? <laughs> 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 Brags locked that away for a, a TikTok later. Yeah. Um, so, um, actually, before I get through the card, so this obviously was in the GX. Mm -hmm. Was the TCG stuff in GX? No, okay, so that's completely original. Yeah, the, They've the, just taken yeah, the Dark the Guardian stuff, like, yeah, actual stuff. Are you yeah, okay. hamburger recipe? No, they're not. Um, so, I'll start I'm with this one. This one is called Dark recipe. Eternal. Um, if you have Gate Guardian Monster in your graveyard, pay half your life points, special summon one, 11, one level 11 or higher Gate Guardian Monster from your hand deck or extra deck, ignoring your summoning conditions. Uh, so, it summons any of the new fusions. Uh, and then banish it from the graveyard, add one of your Sangha, Kazujin, or Suijin that are banished or in your deck to your hand. Okay. I mean, the half life point seems a little steep. That'd be a cool element. No, no, no. Pay half your life points, it's okay. Dark element. Oh, I thought you said, um, something else. Never mind, that's a shit name. Day Guardian's so good that paying half your life points is not that bad. Your opponent well, I mean, yeah, is destroy take three times. Opponent, yeah. Anyway, uh, then they also get Dark Guardian. Uh, so, can it be normal summoned set? Have to uh, summon it with Dark uh, Elemental um, from your hand or graveyard by shuffling. Wait, must be special summoned yeah, with Dark right. Elemental or by shuffling Sangha, Kazujin, and Shujin into the deck from among cards on field, in your hand, in your graveyard, or in the banish. Hmm. Yes. So, fairly easy. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, and if it's special summoned with Dark Element, it is unaffected by other monsters' effects and your opponent's uh, activated spell effects. Did they ever... Hmm. But it's not as big, yeah? Or is it the same? Is it uh, it's, no, it's 38. It's bigger. Yeah, it is! Oh my god, huge. And it's a buff boy. It is uh, Jirai Gummo on Roids. Which I forgot that Jirai was a part of them as well. Yeah, don't you remember? He set it as a trap somehow in the labyrinth, and then it popped oh. up and killed something. Well, I mean, I mean, that's how. God, I want an illusion monster. Like, they should give this illusion support with a wall shadow. Come on, give it to me. I mean, they've already given them their support, right? They're not going to get any more. <laughs> more. Yeah, we need more <laughs> labyrinth slight wall. <laughs> yeah, no. more labyrinth support, but labyrinth wall, the good one. Yeah, not the women laughing. Yeah, <laughs> I like architecture. <laughs> <laughs> I want buildings, yeah. not boomers. <laughs> I want mazes. <laughs> Anywho, um, also from the OCG, we have their take on Goatee. Oh. Uh, so they've got a level two? Yeah, level two. If you control a fish, uh, especially some of this card from your hand. If a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, target one of them and your banished level 6 or lower fish monsters. Banish both that tar opponent's target and this card, and if you do special summon the other target. Uh, then during the standby phase, it brings itself back. Mm. Uh, and then they get a level 6. Um, two? Yeah, 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 two cards. Why didn't Spiral get two? 
didn't they? The OCG haven't done their bit on that. Yeah, yet. they got one. That wasn't the OCG, that was us. Double Helix is theirs. I thought it was Double Helix and another yeah, and trap we... card. No, we got Double Helix. No, I swear they gave it a trap card as well. It wasn't just Double Helix. I thought it was Double Helix and a card we never thought of or spoke of again. Was but it the equipment? That's card? really a... no, no, surely not. Vroom, vroom, chugga, chugga, big red car? No, no, no. No, no, big red car was There was one. another equipped card. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the, other like, card. the thing on the fist? No, that, that was already up. Was it? Yep. Oh, well, I don't care. It's spiral. That was in Macca. Anyway. Uh, so the level six is, if it's normal special summon, add a fish monster from your deck to your hand except for itself. Then banish one fish monster from your hand or face up field. Uh, if this card becomes banished, you can banish one fish monster from your hand or face up field or graveyard. Um, except another copy of itself yeah. to special summon it. Yeah, this card's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be good in, like, Goaty. I think Goaty still has a ceiling that they've got to get around. But this card surely will come up in a few years, just generically going for a whole type and yeah. then being able to then extend back into itself. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a piece of something somewhere. It'll be able to do something. Not now, though. Not currently. Uh, we got a level 4 Synchro that is kind of trash. Uh, so this one is called Fish Lamp. Uh, Aww. I mean, it's cute, but it yeah. doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, so, if it's sent to the graveyard, a synchro material, special summon two lamp tokens, uh, fish level two. Uh, also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except fish. And if you control another fish synchro, banish this card from the graveyard, then target one card in the field and destroy it. Not a quick effect. Look, just, this just pretty... double helix, by the way. Just double helix. It was just double helix? I swear yeah. they gave him another card. Oh, well, they don't deserve it. So, I has got double helix, some has got guru. I mean, oh, so yeah, this is just back when they're doing one then. Now they're like, let's do two. When, when are we going to go to three? War Rock will get three. War Rock will get three. Didn't Ro War Rock get three? No, but another three. They'll get uh, War Rock no. Mountain Passage. It'll I mean, be a continuous it, spell that activates the field spell. It won't be too long before we actually get the announcement of the Gold Pride support. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. They're oh, going to give them a, the a good link. Yes. Yes. That is all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and just this morning, actually, well, not this morning for you, this was a while ago for you guys, uh, we got a new Link monster. Uh, this one is Sebex oh. Sorcerer. Yeah. Uh, Where's the point? That's relevant nowadays. Hmm? Bottom left, bottom right, isn't it? Oh, good arrows. Yeah. Summon lots. Uh, so when this card... Wait. When this card or your opponent... Or your no oh, fuck me I'm so tired. When yeah, this card or your monster it points to inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can either gain the same amount of life points. Oh, you can gain the same amount of life points. Life link. Yeah, pretty much. And if either player gains life points even during the damage step, you can make each player take a thousand damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. You take it, then you do increase some damage, it. increase your life points, and then do some more damage. Sure. Actually, I need to double check. Is Where's the cracker? Then they use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. Oh. So do you end up being better off than your opponent? Depends on how much damage you do. Okay. Okay. And then we've got some cards announced for the quarter century duelist box. Uh, so we have Wing Karibo level six. Uh, it's bad. Um, Shocker, because there's a 10 that we've got to work up to. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. even then, I don't think that links in. Like, it's named within the Wing Karibo stuff, but, like, there's no things that really connect them. Just the, the fact it's in Flame Wing Man's arm. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, uh, it's always treated as an elemental hero and favourite card. Uh, can't be normal summoned a set. Uh, you have to banish a elemental hero fusion monster or a winged Karibo from your hand, face off field, or graveyard to special summon it. Mm -hmm. And then when an opponent's monster declares an attack or when an opponent's monster effect activates on the field, you can tribute this card, destroy that monster, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. This card's sick. No, it's not. You already, all you have to do is banish an E hero for it, yeah? You can summon it off a no, hero. No, it has lives. to be a fusion. Oh. You can summon it off a hero lives. You could do that. Wait, no, you can't. I don't know if you can do that. Wait, or, no, or Wing Karibo level 10. I made that part up. Yeah. So level the 10. The fact that the very first thing I read about it was cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by banishing an elemental hero fusion monster or a Wing Karibo from your it's, hand. Face oh, or just a graveyard. That's awesome. So not a Wing Karibo monster, just a winged Karibo. Just yeah, just Wing Karibo. Oh. Yeah, it's rough. No, but you can, you can surely find ways to pitch. I wonder if this 
Yes. It's not worth it for a destruction and burn. Heroes have other things they need to try and accomplish. Yeah. But still, if we could summon self from the bin, why would be good. Lives. Stop spruiking a card that doesn't work for this garbage card. I wasn't doing nothing. It's not even the I best. I could hear you. Not even the best no, Karibo. No one could. And then we have Shining... Favourite Karibo. Hmm? Favourite Karibo. Um, oh, what's it fucking called? Favourite Karibo. Effect Failure. <laughs> Magic Karibo. It's Karibot now, I reckon. So good. Relevant. Anyway. Relevant Karibo? And then we have Shining Star Dragon. Uh, so level 4 Dragon Tuner. Uh, zero attack and defense. Oh. During your opponent's main phase, if this card is in your hand, uh, quick effect, target a dragon secret monster in your graveyard, special summon this card, and if you do, special summon that target. If the effect's negated, then immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one dragon synchro monster using this card you control. And a dragon monster synchro summoned using this card as material cannot be destroyed by battle. Battle. Why not card effect? One day I like that reasoning. Begin. Whoa, that wasn't English. Jerome, I appreciate you. I appreciate your ability to make Jake go eh about cards. It's very, like, the art looks so cool, though. And it's just, I was like, oh, this card looks cool. Hopefully it's at least somewhat okay. And look, I would say it is somewhat okay, but, like, it just requires a lot of setup and resource management to make sure you have the targeting graveyard that's appropriate to summon and then something good to summon off it. Just a lot of having to think. If only we could mill. And then on the day that we find out that we finally have the newest... the Deco Talker on the Exodia? It's not centred in the frame! Didn't you check this when you were setting up the camera? Fuck no. <laughs> anyway, um, we only just got OTS 22 in the store, and oh, we now today. have the announcement of OTS 24. I thought you were going to say 25 then. No, we're not quite that far behind, but we're getting there. Um, so this one doesn't have a... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It is OTS 24. No, I know this. He said 25. I thought he said 23. No. You said 23. No, he said No, 24. he said 23. This shit's recorded. Anyway. Is it? No, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Um, so, uh, we don't have a date as far as I can work out. Or Oh, wait, no. So, we do. October 25th. No, not that. Uh, the Valentine's Day. Maybe 23 is October 25th. It's a Valentine's Day. Uh, so, the one ulti that we know that's going to be in there is the Rock of the Vanquisher. The Link 1 for Vanquish Soul. Good work, Jerome. I appreciate your... Why are you sucking up to Jerome this week? Is this Where's the abuse? Jerome deserves me to cut him some slack sometimes, okay? No. Do those? Jerome picks good ulties for his OTS packs. No. Those Link 1s are great. No. People say Link 1s are busted, so What's we should put them all in the OTS packs. What's a cause? I don't care. Um, is there any... So that's the only ulti we know? That's the only one we know. Do we know any supers? Uh, no... Why are they telling us about these? These are the ones that should keep secret. It's just, by the way, here's an OTS pack, and guess what's in them? I appreciate yeah. oh, it. Or, or maybe there's, you've got to advertise it to get people keen and go to the stores and then be told when they after they've paid their $10 entry. Oh, no, we don't actually have OTS packs. Yeah, no. <laughs> so maybe it is in their interest to go. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, too. Um, although I say that uh, it releases on Valentine's Day. We shan't be getting it then. We'll get it in July. Yeah. And that's okay. Jerome's was, making sure we get it eventually. Wasn't there something else you gave Did, you, did you get an email or something to like cease and desist your abuse? No, I'm just uh, it's Jerome Appreciation Week, guys. Isn't Valentine's Day the release yes. of the next set? The next main set. What? The, um, fa the fan Phantom darkness Nightmare. one. I'm not sure. Darkness. Right. With bull. March twice, yes. Yes, that was the yeah. other thing I was going to mention. So, um, word has gotten through I, to us. Is... The seal are we, really are doesn't we like allowed much. To talk about this or? Well, yeah, it's literally it only pro from, it's on an official judge. official oh, yeah, page. True. I so, like it. it's the official page because someone else <laughs> had the official page name. So, uh, <laughs> word has trickled down from uh, the judging person, whatever his name is. 
That it's, was, it's, the page. It's, it's the like it's a good like also it's just nice to know what the hell's happening i really appreciate this post yeah yeah it was good to know yeah um, so if you hadn't seen it although if you're part of our discord you would have um our ycs here in australia is not going to be in january this year it is likely to be in march uh very important Which word there okay. likely uh that oh, is no. if we get one at all um i'm gonna go back to work in january then i can't be fucked because usually I've been able the last few years to be able to combine it into the, like the end of yeah, like you just that. tack on some more time. Yeah, or it's a part. It, last year's was in my little time off as well, so I was like, okay, cool. But I just take all of March off. Yeah, and February. I mean, I've got like things happening in February, but yeah, no. I could just take all of March off. Then treat yourself. Oh, Go a little yeah, bit in April. <laughs> Anyway, um, so that does change up the time frame of like what we're expecting to play because like we weren't going to have Phantom Nightmare in our YCS. Now we do. We can play Goblins. We can play Goblins. We got uh, Magic Specters. We've got Goblins. The second iteration of Diablo Star. Um, more Goblins. What? We can play Watts. What? I mean, you can play Watts now. And Goblins. We can't play until next week, but sure. Yeah, kind of. Seeing as though you've mentioned God, well, yeah, well, our YCS isn't next week, is it? Could be. It's not. It's not confirmed yet. Spot YCS. How good would that be? You can't have both Christmas and October, and YCS in March of now. So do we have two ban lists between now and then? Yes. Or does it last till March? That's. It's gonna be. It's. We'll have one ban list. We're, yeah. I'm calling two. So you know how normally we get the YCS and then we have the ban list like a week later? Yeah. On ban list timing, we should get the ban list in December now. Mm-hmm. So they've intentionally delayed our YCS to the next ban list point so they can do the YCS and then put the ban list out a week later so the necklace are all invalid again. Yeah. We've, we've, like we've, we've had a couple of end of March ban lists as well. So yeah, it's definitely not unprecedented. Yeah. Ugh. Just making our YCS, if it happens, even less meaningful. Was there any packs going into the start of March? Because sometimes there's like a sneaky one there, yeah? Like the reprint sets? Yeah, because we won't have... So we'll have that and we'll have that OTS. We'll have... We're going to get to the L now, I reckon. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh. Oh. Uh, your set release times. You can fill if you want. I'm just gonna yeah. Go. All right. Uh, so we that... need a producer again. Yeah. Those, those three times we had one. I mean, you say one. It was you. Um, but anyway, Back in the day when um, we could afford a producer. Instead, we, we can't afford a producer anymore. We we were paying him. We we're, we're broke. I blame we you to subscribe to the Patreon. I blame Blake for this. That's another thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so we move on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, so our first question this week comes to us from IR Cool Guy. Hey. Uh, how do we cope with emergency and prevent it being withheld from the new Master Duel pack? You wait. Yeah, it's just a wait scenario, right? It's, yeah. like, it's like we like what you did in the TCG. With, with full power cash, you wait. Yeah, like we had all those cool cards in the start of the year sitting there, and we went, oh, well, gotta wait. Yeah. yeah. You but just have to wait. Pearly waited. I mean, Pearly's still very much playable. It's still one of the best. They're two really decks. No, I think the beginning of the year. Really sorry. Pearly really, really didn't wait in the, like, in this game, did it? It's kind of shitty, actually. But it's... Emergency, was Emergency the same set as the Pearly, the good Pearly cards? Yes. The next. The second set, yeah, where Noir and. Just like Noir. Little Noir and... And the other trap. Yeah. 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 Ugh. But Per Lily came in a different set. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next question Wait, what comes What do you mean? Noir was the big... Oh, Little, little Noir. Noir. Yeah, Little Noir. Yeah. Well, we don't have Little Noir. Not no. in Master Duel, no. Yeah. But they also no. don't need it because they didn't limit anything. Yes. But that was in the same set as Emergency. Yes. So that's why we don't have it. Yes. Gotcha. Next question it's comes to us from c Six. Uh, thoughts on the announced ulti for OTS 24? I'm... It's really good. It's fine. Like, it, I think it's it was great. one of the few important cards for the deck that didn't have a, uh, collector's rep. 
I thought it hit the... I thought, I thought, I thought it did. I think that one didn't. Okay. Good work, Jerome. Taking care of your player base. Make sure that it's all in the high rarity. Something's all the versus wrong, something's cards. wrong with you. I mean, something more is wrong with you. You reckon he's being, like, threatened? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking Jerome has, like, blackmailed him and been like, you're going to be nice to me. He's not around the corner or... with a gun, is he? You're not, you're behind, not host- he's behind the curtain? Wink twice if you're a hostage. Well, man, that's a long wink. <laughs> that's a blink. Or is that a double wink? That's Jerome in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screaming the last person that slandered him on TikTok. <laughs> did I even leave one of them in? I think I did. Um, but yeah, like, I understand it. I'm curious as to what the other ones will be, whether they'll do some more archetype specific ones actually yeah wait a minute you hate the archetype specific ones it's okay this time around it was much much needed why because the previous because it's a link one and link ones are good but why that one because it's a link one why when it's archetypal don't ulti links link look one. shit huh don't ulti links look shit uh, uh, i don't like the sky striker ones konami's been trying to always print all link ones in ulti so it was needed to keep to keep the feng shui where's going. the adignista one where's the salamane great one it's okay they're coming they're where's coming. ling Garibo? where's link karibo oh. they're where's... coming well i mean we're in, like we will 100 have a link karibo one eventually yeah maybe oh, going... is it rarity collection is it in the rarity collection for ulti they're coming yeah all these cards are coming guys just gotta chill oh my god yeah something's definitely up with you i don't know what the go is that um but yeah it'll be interesting to see what the other ones are but that'll be some time away before we find out about those the battles of legends set is the end of february so we also have that before ycs but we don't know anything about what's in that yet no do we? no uh it's yeah, it's yeah. the reprint it's just a reprint set we don't have the, oh that's right have but the, it'll have some new stuff we don't have the karibo things that we're just talking about isn't that all in the pack that's going to be karibo and karibo no no those were different no, as in the... Oh, so is the Wing Karibo... So this Brothers of Legend set is a reprint Brothers of Legend set. So they're just going to reprint all of our Brothers and Legend stuff in there. Uh, I think there is new stuff in there, though. There is Karibo stuff in there. Oh, uh, going, um, but they, yeah, they've the, got 500 cards to reprint. I don't think they're going to put new cards in there. So I'm saying they're going to put the Quarter Century Jewelers box stuff in that set. I mean, maybe... But that's still that's a two tire turnaround See, for a box. They've never done three months before, have they? This thing is supposed to be our like Legendary Duel Season 1, Season 2, Hidden Arsenal Series 1. That's the next one of those. Yeah. Where it's the two packs and the But they dice. snuck stuff into those as well. Did they? I'm Hidden sure Arsenal put... didn't have anything stuck into it, did it? I thought they had like a couple of V-Jump promos. Yeah, okay. Anywho. Probably wrong. But Sky Striker. Then I can play to what? Well, I won't play to what, yes. Um, and our last question this week comes to us from Paul Pelkin. You! Uh, what do you think about Oceanic's YCS? Uh, yeah, Oceanic YCS not being in January next year. Could we potentially have a better format to compete in than has been the last ca- the case for the last few YCSs? Yeah, as we said, it's going to be very much the same. But also, it is a nice change of pace. Like, I'd rather yeah. than do something different than the same thing over and over and over yeah. and over. It's going to be an end of format YCS. Cal should have done the Again. Early, de- early December. Bring it back. That was hilarious and so shit. Yeah, early December is a terrible time. Yeah, it was so bad, but it was hilarious. Now that's when they hold Anaheim, isn't it? They normally do Anaheim in early December. Oh. We should go to Disneyland one time there. Yeah. Do YCS. YCS Disneyland. Bang, 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 There's one right across the road, I'm pretty sure. The convention said they usually do it. But also that road could be like, you know, an 18-lane fucking freeway. Yes. Yeah, just across the road. <laughs> um... Tell us if you've been to those. The concerning bit that I have about it is where it's going to be. Because I feel like if it was going to be Sydney, it would just be locked in at this point. Yeah, because it will be the same time slot they always get from the venue. So this seemingly implies that they don't have the venue stuff anymore. We've seen that relationship out. Wasn't there some fucking concert on at that venue this year? In January? Yeah, I remember seeing it somewhere. I just can't remember who was playing. No, Tay-Tay's there the month after. Let's have a looky-loo. Yeah, if this uh, was February, I'll be so I'll be ruined. What's the what's it called now? Accor Stadium? Yeah. Did they ever do the reno did they cancel did was it the government thing that cancelled the renovation on that, or did they do it? I think they cancelled it. Yeah, because it was meant to be closed for a bit and then it never got 
closed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they... Oh, did they do, like, a, a Brisbane... No, not Brisbane. Melbourne Commonwealth games dealsies where they, like, just lied about the cost of it. And yeah. And, like, yeah. they were going to be like, oh, we're going three times over budget, and then just like, the fuck you are. Or they're like, we've I built was... three stadiums in the last six like six years. We can't do this again. I was right. Juicy Fest is on. Mm. Excuse me? Remember six months ago when they announced Juicy Fest for the start no. of... June, uh, for the start of January and, so, and we yeah. were like huh they're going to have to move YCS because Juicy Fest is on you keep saying Juicy Fest as if I've ever heard this before what the it's fuck fucking is it Juicy Fest. what the fuck is it it's I can't explain it anymore it's a fest where all the Juicy Gang shows up I'll kill every one of them wow. um, you can see Don't T-Pain you, can do that. <gasps> you want to kill T-Pain and Fabulous you want to kill Fabulous <laughs> It's like the it's like the Pokal Regionals having to move because of the cake fest. The biggest names in old school R and B. Oh, Mace is going. Gay? Have you ever heard his hit song? Where he goes, go. I'm go. Mace. But is this? Is, I thought he was gonna is say it just it. Borat? <laughs> no, I, just, I am Mace. I just made a reference. I to like to sing a song. If if you got that reference, I wanted you to know, in the Discord. But I'm Mace reference, okay? I just thought Cody thought he was going to say he's too dangerous to be left alive. No. That's T-Pain. So yeah, someone should auto-tune that. <laughs> Did you ever have the auto-tune app? No. No. Well, it's like it was, T-Pain had a literal auto-tune. <laughs> Which is wild. Genius like, mark. He right. only ever does auto-tune, but like, I remember there was this one clip that got released of him actually singing, and he's actually really good. Oh yeah, he won, um, he won the Mars Singer. Yeah, that's bonkers. Like, you'd never guess him either, because you're like, mm, I can hear an actual voice, so it's definitely not T-Pain. But yeah, he's actually very good at singing. All he do is win. Well, I mean, you won the match, so yeah. All he does is win. I'm T-Pain? Yeah, he's the T-Pain of sneak peeks. <laughs> Anyway, that will conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. Uh, if you are listening along on a podcast service, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, uh, ask us some questions for next week, and we will catch you all then. Peace. Bye.